Tall sailing ships have always captured the imagination of the adventurous. And what we're going to do is to paint one of these tall ships in watercolour. There's a lot of white areas to be protected, so use masking fluid to do this. And then about a half an inch or 15 millimetres around the edge of the sails should be enough protection. And when you have protected all the areas that need to be, gently blow dry before proceeding. Turn the painting upside down and then with a large flat brush wet all the sky areas and then float in some cobalt blue and then keep the horizon nice and straight. Add more pigment blue to the sky and bring a touch of burnt sienna to warm it up a bit. Drop this colour into the wet sky and move it around to suit. And then with a bundled up tissue, dab some areas out to give the impression of cloud billows. Mix up a light mix of blue and viridian and paint the sea with horizontal strokes. Don't paint it too evenly. To be able to indicate some nice windswept waves, use the two colours in horizontal lines and intermingle them. Keep the foreground darker at the lower end of the painting and lighter towards the horizon. Now we can begin to add the curved lines for the swells and the waves. But don't overdo it and make the waves too wild. The waves get much smaller into the distance. Because clouds show reflections from the sea surface, very carefully glaze in a few light sea colour on sections of the clouds. Use a small round brush to protect the shadow areas of the waves and note that each swell will have a light reflection on the top edge. Slowly carry on building up the swells. And a word of warning here. Don't make the swells too large in relation to the side of the ship. Paint the dark reflections off the side and dry the sea. Now you can remove the masking fluids off the ship. The sails are a very strong cotton cloth and or canvas, and unless they are very new sails, they will be slightly discoloured and yellow from the continual usage in all weathers. Now to age the sails a bit, paint in a light orange colour over all the sails as a background colour. And with an orange-brown colour, begin painting in all the spars and the masts. To keep them straight and even, it is best to do so with a whole series of short strokes. To achieve the aged look, start painting, or rather glazing, some yellow ochre over the sails. And when this has been completed, mix up a light blue-grey for adding shadows onto the sails. Remember to show any folds in the sails themselves. Continue working on the shadows and eventually adding the darkest shadows under the spars. Touch up with a light grey for the seams at the edge of the sails. Carefully add the other details in the sails and the shadows on the masts. Continue touching up all the other smaller details in the sails, including the flag. With a very dark mix of brown made up of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, paint the hull of the sailing ship and the lighter strip on the side. Now comes the interesting part of this painting, and it is all the small details on the deck. And in the reference photograph, there's a ton of details. Now we are not going to paint all the details as shown in the photograph. We are going to simplify the lot by blocking in the main shapes only. Slowly build up the various tones and colours, being careful to keep the general shapes of the sailors. Once the shapes have been painted, we can now, with a small round brush, add the railings. Painting two gulls for some extra movement and interest. The close-up here shows just how simplified 
all the details are. With some Chinese white, straight from the tube, touch up all the smaller areas that need white, such as the tips of the spars, etc. For this size of sailing ship, we would not be able to paint the thin ropes with a very small or a very thin brush. They would be just too thick. We will add them in with a very sharp pointed pencil. A 0.5 millimeter a mechanical pencil works very fine here. Notice that I'm only adding in the main rigging and leaving out all the lesser ropes. It is not necessary to add them all in. The viewer's brain is well able to add them in for you. Again, with Chinese white, add the bow wave of the ship, as well as the highlights on the deck areas and some of the wave tops. To finish off, I want you to notice that each sail has a slightly different brightness and tone than the others. Don't try and keep them all the same color. Please like this video if you've enjoyed watching it, and we would also love you to subscribe to our channel.